Hey guys, it's Steven, and today I'm going to show you how I make my custom Yushin Little Magic M Pyramixes. So let's get started. Out of the box, these puzzles have loose tensions, dry turning, and very strong tip magnets, and we're going to fix all of those problems. The first thing we need to do is remove the tips. This is very easy, and the tips are just caps that separate into three pieces. Now we're going to remove a magnet from each tip. You can do this by putting fingers over two of the magnets and then turning the tip halfway. After moving it around a bit, the magnet should pop out. Now you can use that magnet to make it easier to get the other ones out. Next, we're going to unscrew the puzzle. For this setup, I exclusively use weight 5 and we're going to put it in several places. But before we do that, I'm going to remove the washers. The easiest way to do this is to remove the screws, and I like to remove these plastic rings at the same time. You can do this easily by pulling the screw back slightly so the threading grabs the plastic piece and remove both at the same time. Now we can remove the ring and take the washer off of the screw before putting the spring back. The next thing I'm going to do is lube three major contact points with weight 5. The first is on this bump on the ring. I just put a bead here and then a little bit more under the second ridge. Now I'm going to remove the screw and spring again and put some lube both at the base of the screw head and under the spring. After that, they can go back in the puzzle and I'm going to repeat that for the other sides. Now that this is done, we can get the tensions back to approximately where they are going to end up. I'm going to take some time off camera to fine tune these tensions, but this is about where I like to have them. There's just a little bit of space between the top of this ring and the top of the screw head. Getting these to be even is very important because having uneven tensions can make the puzzle lock up. So I will be back after I fine tune these tensions. These tensions are looking pretty good, so it's time to reassemble it. Now that it's fully assembled, we can finish lubing the tips and lube the pieces. For the tips, I just like to turn them halfway and put a little bit of weight 5 in one of the corners. This just makes them feel smoother and more consistent. After that, we're going to lube the body. For this, I just turn aside halfway and then put a generous amount of weight 5 on this torpedo. After that, I put a line of weight 5 on the center next to it. After realigning the puzzle and breaking it in, all that's left to do is change the logo. That is starting to feel pretty good, so I'm going to replace the logo with my own and that will be it. I like to put my own logo on the green side with yellow facing down so it's front and center when you're scrambling. And there we go. This is a finished Steven's Little Magic Pyraminx. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you want one of my puzzles but don't want to pay the extra for the premium setup. So because of that, we decided to give this one away. I'm going to be signing the box to make it a little bit more special. And there we go. This giveaway will be conducted on Gleam. Unfortunately, it's US only because international shipping is expensive, but there are instructions for entry in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.